Hey guys, Matt Kentucky Range Time, back with another episode of our ballistic gel block test with the 50 caliber muzzle loader. And the bullet we're testing this episode is the Hornady, trying to get the glare off over here, the Hornady uh, 240 grain XTP. This is uh, the exact same bullet that I load in my 44 Magnum. It's a 0 .430 diameter bullet uh, in a 50 cal Sabot. And, uh, you know, it's an XTP. I mean, I, I almost don't have to say anything else except uh, let's turn around and look at the loading and get on out to the range. All right, guys, here's a here's a look at the loading for this. Uh, Winchester 209 primers, uh, Hodgdon Pyrodex 5050 pellets, and, uh, and of course, the Hornady XTP 240-grain uh, bullet. And uh, the, the format for this is a, uh, I fired a three-pellet charge, a two-pellet charge, and a single-pellet charge and uh, uh, velocities coming from the Garmin. And I will note, I was having some issues getting the camera going here. I missed the, the three pellet shot, uh, the down the barrel view of the three pellet shot, and then did not get slow motion uh, video for the two pellet or the one pellet shot. So uh, you'll, you'll notice some content missing as we go through the video, but we will still have all the data uh, at the end in the slides, and uh, we'll be able to take a look and see how these bullets performed. So we're testing this Hornady uh, XTP 50 cal muzzle loader bullet. This is a, a 44 diameter bullet, a .430 diameter and a, and a 50 cal Sabot in here. And uh, I've, I've run this with three pellets of Pyrodex and uh, I didn't get the camera going on the very first shot. So not starting off real good, but just to recap our velocity with the three pellets of Pyrodex and the Hornady 240 grain bullet was 1996.5 and out here on this end actually i had some center block underneath our board trying to get the, the whole thing up where i could get a better angle on it from the, from the bench i'm shooting on but this entire first block here uh, came off the table uh, probably can see it on the slow-mo shot here i'll try to speed that part of it up and show it in real time but this entire block came off, hit the ground, rolled, was covered with gravel and, and, and brass on all four sides and both ends. But somewhere in here, we do have a wound cavity and a catch. All right, guys, so here's our entry with the uh, 240 grain uh, Hornady XTP and the 50 cal muzzle loader, and uh, this is a three pellet charge, and this this box is getting pretty cloudy, so I'm gonna go right across the top here. We got pretty much immediate expansion within like a half to three quarters of an inch, and I know it's hard to see, but good wound channel all the way down here to about 13 and a half or 14 inches, and then we got a catch laying right down here at about 18 and a quarter inches, so. That's right out in the middle of that. And it is hard to see. So that's our three pellet load. Take a look at it here from this side. That's our three pellet load. And nice About big mushroom head. And a quarter, 18 and a half inches. All right, guys. So uh, this is the, the two pellet load with the Hornady 240 grain XTP bullet. And I missed the video on the three pellet shot a while ago, which is really sad because I knocked the gel block off the table and everything out there blew up. And anyway, it was a, it was a mess out there. It would have been interesting to have had all that on camera. All right, so this is the two pellet load. Velocity of 1,749 foot per second. So about 250 foot velocity difference between the three pellet and the two pellet. Let's go check that one out. All right, guys, I'm trying to keep the camera angled here to, to keep the glare down from the sunlight. So here's our entry. Uh, we've got, got those shards coming off the expansion. Started literally immediately and fully expanded by about a half inch which is faster than what we've seen in some of the other XTP bullets. Temporary wound cavity, nice large temporary wound cavity down here at about 12 or 13 inches. This bullet's tracking down. 
and it crosses and exceeds the three pellet bullet with a final penetration down here of about 21 inches. Let's see if I can get in here and get this on camera away from all the glare. So there it lays and back here in about 18 and a half was the, was the three pellet load. So next up is the one pellet load. So next up is the one pellet load. Now, I don't recommend a one pellet load for a whole lot of anything, but out of curiosity and as a reference for the velocity, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a one pellet load here and uh, we'll see what it does. We'll see if we get enough velocity to get an expansion out of it. And, uh, but more than anything, I'm doing this as a reference so we can take the, uh, the one pellet expansion velocity and, and see how much expansion we get, and we can deduct that velocity difference uh, from the, the three pellet load. was very mild shooting and we did not get a velocity on that one. <clears throat> Let's go see if we got any expansion and how the one track did. Then we'll come back and run another one for velocity. <clears throat> All right, guys, next up is the, uh, the second shot of our one pellet load, uh, we did not get a velocity or a catch on the first one. So we're gonna try that again. Still no velocity. So we'll see if we got a catch. All right, this is our wound track right here. And uh, I got this one close enough to the top and it's a little bit easier to see than the others. But uh, we got some nice expansion here. Uh, wound cavity, nice temporary wound cavity down about seven or eight inches. And then it kind of settles down a little bit. We got some lead shards along the way, some here at 21 inches. And here is our final bullet laying at about 24 and a half inches of penetration. So that's the one pellet load. So we got the three pellet, the two pellet, and the one pellet. Uh, I am going to go back off camera and shoot until I get some velocities on this one pellet load. So we've got that for reference. So all right, guys, back in the shop here, and uh, I've got these things dug out and taken a quick look at them. So here is the three pellet load. And uh, if you can tell here, this thing folded completely back on itself. The, uh, the copper pedals wrapped back around the base of the bullet. You can see that flat base right down deep in the middle of that. Uh, the two pellet load uh, caught a little, little chunk of the cop or the little chunk of the lead from the three pellet load and blew this massive hole in the front end of it. But behind that, uh, we still had the pedals fold around the base, just not hardly as far and deep, which means this bullet did not uh, mushroom back quite as far as the three pellet load did. And the one pellet load here, uh, you know, this is decent expansion uh, for, for one, one pellet for 50 grains. And uh, so, you know, fairly impressive results out of all three of these XTP bullets, uh, the three pellet, the two pellet, and the one pellet load. And, uh, you know, really can't complain about this. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get the ballistic chart out here in a few minutes and we'll look and see the difference in the one pellet velocity and the three pellet velocity. Uh, and then we'll know, we'll be able to figure out at what distance uh, the three pellet velocity will still give you that kind of expansion here. So that's coming up. Stay tuned for the slideshow and we'll take a quick look at that. All right, guys, so we've got all the data together now and uh, got the ballistic charts built for these bullets uh, based on the velocities that I was reading. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> the one the one pellet load had a velocity of 1,211 foot per second. And if you go over to uh, that chart, uh, it, they're all on one, one slide. 
So you got three, two, and one. But if you go over and look at the one pellet chart at uh, 1,211 foot per second, and then you come back to the three pellet chart and you go down the chart until that the three pellet load has slowed down to 1,211 feet, you'll get 250 yards. So this, this expansion and 24 and a half inches of penetration is what you would get out of a, out of this bullet with a three pellet load of power decks at 250 yards. If you go to the two pellet chart, the same thing translates out to 175 yards. So a three pellet or a two pellet charge with this 240 grand XTP bullet is gonna give you good results out to 250 or 175 yards, depends on which one of those two loads you choose to shoot. Uh, and actually, if you wanted to shoot a one pellet load, this is decent expansion. Uh, you know, 15 feet, so yardage, probably 10, 20, 30 yards, you're still gonna get some expansion here and you're still gonna get a lot of penetration. So in close, even a one pellet load uh, with this 240 grain XTP could get the job done easily. So, all right, guys, Matt, Kentucky Range Time. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments, and we'll catch you on the next one.